Hello, welcome to Sound and Fury Book Reviews. As usual, I am Tina. Today I'm doing a book review of Dragon Kings of Oklahoma by Ferret Steinmetz. This is a book that came out September 3rd, 2024. It's a fantasy novel. It's self-published, I think. <laughs> I received this book from Neck Alley in exchange for a fair review. I requested it very last minute, which is why I'm like a month late in reviewing based on the release date, and I apologize for that. But uh, So I considered it when I first saw it, and then I kind of hummed and hogged, because I was like, do I have time for it? And then I saw people on this like group I'm in, this book group on Instagram, talking about it, and I was like, oh, I should just get it. <laughs> so that's what, why the delay happened. But what's this book about? They were just two good old boys putting out a fire in the Uche Mountains. They didn't expect to find a mother dragon sitting on her brood. Daisy Collins was born in Oklahoma and he's going to die in Oklahoma. But a busted hip means that Daisy can't hold a steady job and is in danger of losing his family home. So when Daisy stumbles across a botched scheme to smuggle dragons out of Germany and his best friend Wild Eye says these dragon eggs could be their ticket to financial stability, Daisy agrees. How hard could it be to sell off baby dragons? Very, as it turns out. Everyone wants the dragons. Dusty, the werewolf owner of the local Allmart. Joanna, a dragon hunter who's tracked Germany's lost national treasures to Oklahoma. And Sheriff Kenny, who'll do anything to save his town's tourist-friendly image. <laughs> but the biggest threat to his get-rich scheme's plan are these adorable deadly dragons, whom Daisy slowly comes to think of as his beloved pets. <laughs> this book is, well, <laughs> it's wild. <laughs> it's very fun. I kept showing people the cover. My husband did one of his, like, eyebrow raises. I can't really do it. Um, and then my friends at Trivia rolled their eyes when I showed them. Yet, all of them wanted to know the premise, which is when I ended up telling them, like, most of the plot, because they're not going to read it. <laughs> but you might. So this review will contain no spoilers. This book is so much fun. It's quick paced, funny, has a premise I have never heard before, and strives that balance between teasing and appreciative of the culture. <laughs> the two characters are both stereotypical hicks and also not stereotypical at all. They revel in the parts of themselves that they see as good old boys, but reject the stuff that people often assume them of being, you know, gun nuts, homophobic, etc. The book also has a huge plotline surrounding the opioid crisis, which I thought was handled in a way that was sensitive and balancing not blaming people, while also advocating for determined self detox It also broaches other important topics like the poverty cycle, disability, and unemployment. The world building for me was a little bit light, I wasn't sure why dragons only exist in Germany, though, to be honest, I would kind of thought that was cool, being of German heritage myself. In fact, the Black Forest, where the, Germ where the big dragons come from, I've been there, and my cousins used to live kind of on the outskirts of it, and so we would bike through there when I visited them when I was like in my teens, and there were these giant slugs that were on the trees. Like, they were huge! They were so gross! <laughs> uh, yeah, anyway. Um, so... In the book, it wasn't clear how prevalent magic stuff was in the world and how magic factored into the way society functioned. Then again, the dragons themselves were an absolute joy, especially the little baby ones. They reminded me of Pip from Pip and Flanks from Alan Dean Foster's, you know, old books from the 70s. Do I even have? I mean, they're all in there somewhere. Uh, here. The one thing I wasn't sure about was the genre. It's a fantasy for sure, and it's a bit of a comedy, but not really, because it's more like comedic parts. And it's cozy, but there's violence. <laughs> it kind of strides all of these lines. I think it managed to pull all of these things together, though, without having them compete or contrast. I guess I would consider it, above all, like a romp, but a romp with kind of seriousness to it. <laughs> It sounds like I'm like very waffling on this, but that's because I don't think the book waffled in what it was. I think it's just so unique. It's hard to kind of kind of categorize it, which is not really a problem. <laughs> it's a very fast read. It's dialogue heavy, but where there are action scenes, they are described well and are, I'm going to say the word again, fun. This book of balls is fun. Uh, there's a dragon truck chase at one point. <laughs> The book provides what you need to understand the story and the characters, but I wouldn't call it overly deep. Yet, I wouldn't want it to be too deep because then the focus on the serious stuff would have turned from, you know, broaching serious topics to delving in and then it would have become depressing. <laughs> 
The characters are fun. I really liked them, especially Daisy and his buddy Wild Eye. The best thing about Wild Eye is that he's self admittedly unattractive, yet he somehow manages to get all the guys in town. <laughs> yes, Wild Eye is gay, which was a wonderful bit of inclusion that I wasn't expecting. I thought that was great. I loved how it was approached, and I loved how Daisy just accepted his friend for who he was, which is goes against kind of what people typically think of, you know, people that live in like rural places, which I think is not very, very fair to like stereotype those people either. So I think just humanity as a whole, we need to stop assuming and, and stereotyping one another. Good advice, I guess. Uh, overall, this is a novel about sticking by your friends and sticking up for what is right. It's about cute little baby dragons, but also big badass dragons. Uh, it was heartfelt, it was fun, and I very, very much enjoyed it. It is a great beach read. It is probably a great palate cleanser book. If you read a lot of heavy stuff, this is a fun one to get into. Uh, yeah, totally recommend it. <laughs> so glad I picked it up. Thank you again to NetGalley and uh, the author for putting it on NetGalley. Uh, yeah.